Good. Okay, we had a couple of good revolutions there. Hi, I'm Larry Troca, and uh, today we're going to work this this uh, little gildan. Um, we're going to work on some spins. We're going to work on his suppleness. We're going to work on his body control. But the one thing I, I really wanted to touch on. Uh, this horse is a real, um, by nature, he's a real laid back kind of a horse, uh, real willing, real easy going. And you're going to see him here in this video. Uh, he's going to be uh, upset. He's going to be a little teed off. He's probably going to use his tail. And, uh, you know, nine times out of ten, if you knew this horse, you'd go, boy, something's wrong. Um, uh, he's never acted like that. And here's the reason why that happens. Like this horse, I, I forget how old he is, but he's, I think he's four, ready to turn four. But so like the first year of his life that he was ridden, he was just ridden. He was never really asked to do anything uh, other than maybe, you know, track a cow or, or do something, you know, things that are pretty easy, like just walk, trot, lope. But now that we're asking him to move his shoulders, move his hindquarters, you know, do things with a certain form and style, you know, have impulsion, we're asking him to do all these things. And as his, in his mind, he's going, hey, what are you doing? I've spent the last year being ridden. Nobody ever asked me for this before. You know, you're being, you're being unfair. I don't like it. And so what you're seeing is a horse that, that has gone from, you're not asking him to do much, to now you're really asking them to do a lot, you know, complicated stuff. And so they're going to show their resentment sometimes. Now, after two or three months, uh, he'll be over it. You know, he'll accept it. He'll accept my feet. He'll accept me moving his body parts. And all that, all that negative stuff will go away. Okay, let's stop for a second. Before we go on, let me make it understood. In this two-part video series, I'm going to show training techniques used to teach horses to spin correctly. And the key word here is correctly, meaning a precise response is required from the horse. This video is intended for riders who are serious about doing reining or rein cow horse. You know, disciplines that require exact precision. If you're not interested in that type of riding, this video probably isn't what you're looking for. You know, so I don't want to waste your time. Now, for the people who truly want to teach their horse to spin, be sure to watch the video that pops up at the very end of this video. It's titled Foundation Training for the Spin, and it'll show you additional techniques which are critical for you to know. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get on with it. So anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, just kind of school him like I normally would, test his suppleness. Now he's a little stiff to the left. See, I'm, I'm taking that left, my hand to the left and his nose isn't coming, so I'm gonna kind of bump it a few times. Just say, hey, when I... A lot of people don't get their horses supple enough. They gotta be supple and light if you're gonna get anything done. I'm gonna bump until that nose comes to the side and comes down. I want him, I want the nose to not only come to the side, but to, to, to tuck in also. All right, let's ask him the other way. Now I'm just gonna abruptly take him. Now see, he's much more supple that side. I went to take his head to the side and he just willingly gave it. I'll give him a couple bumps just to kinda make it a little bit better, but that's pretty good right there on the right. Reach down, ask for that nose, and he's not bringing it. It's going up in the air. He's fighting. See, so I got to have all this resistance out of him before I'm going to get anything done. Test him another way. Oh, good. So you see the difference to the right? Boy, as soon as I touched, boy, that head came and gave to my hand. It's the way it needs to be on the left side also. Good. That's better. That's better. Test him vertically. He's dropping off it pretty good. That's pretty darn good. 
set the left side of the bit and drive him to it. Good, he's driving to it, good. Good, 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 let him out of it. The big difference between now and when he first came, when he first came, he had no impulsion. You couldn't drive him to the bit. Good, 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 good. Much better. Now watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna half turn him, jump him forward. If I feel him sucking back on his hocks, I'm going to jump him forward. Jumping forward out of that turn is what makes it correct. Turn him, jump him forward. Turn him, jump him forward. Turn him, jump him forward. Jump him forward. Came out of that on the wrong lead. See, the reason I'm jumping him forward is because I want impulsion and I want him using the correct pivot foot and I want him to be crisp, okay? By making him, you doing a half turn and jumping out of it, turning and jumping out of it, that makes him use the correct pivot foot, it makes the front end come and it makes him crisper and more correct. If I, if I do everything slow all the time, he's going to suck back and use the wrong pivot foot uh, a lot of the time. Okay, so, so to get the crossover, get everything going smooth, i got to have that forward impulsion. So he's coming out of that on the wrong lead. There he goes. Now, good, okay, we had a couple of good revolutions there. So I'm using my direct rein to bring the nose, outside rein to bring the shoulders. It's pretty good. So at the end there, when I felt the front end slow down and quit moving, I took my reins and I went, keep it moving, boom. You know, instead of going touch, release, touch, release, I went a little bit stronger at the end and said, get it moving. Keep in mind, if the front end is moving free, the rear end will stay put, okay? It's when the front end slows down and quits moving that the rear end starts kicking out, okay? So I want to keep that front end going. And I'm not going to stay in it five or six revolutions. You, if things are going bad, you need to leave it. Don't just stay in there and swap ends. Then you're just teaching them to swap ends. You know, if you can just get a half turn, that's good. Leave after that half turn. Try two half turns or a full revolution. That's good, leave. And then you build on it, but don't just stay in there and think that he's going to go from swapping ends to doing it correctly right in mid. Bring that front end, boom, right there. Good, okay. Again, you saw what I did when I went boom. I just took my hands and went, boom, get that front end going. You always start that spin real light with little touches. You don't want to startle him at the start. You start slow, move your hands slow. I see you sucking back too far, jump him out of it. Pretty nice right there, good. Good, 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 good. All right, so we got something done going to the left. I'm gonna let him catch his breath. I'm just gonna walk around, let him, let him mellow out, think about it. Okay, let's stop so I can give you some additional information. What you just watched was part one of the introduction to the spin. I'll upload part two soon. If you'd like the complete picture of how to train your horse to spin, get my video titled Teach Your Horse to Roll Back and Spin. It's available on my website as either a DVD or online streaming videos. Actually, better yet, save a bunch of money and get the performance training package. That package includes the roll back and spin videos, as well as the stop light and collected videos, the flying lead change videos, the light and supple videos, and the true collection videos. You know, all at a big discount. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you when I upload a new video. 
like when I upload part two of this video. Leave your comments and questions in the comment section below the video. Oh, and don't forget to go to my website and get that free membership. It'll give you instant access to all kinds of good stuff. I mean, you'll learn a bunch. I'll have a link to it down below also. Okay, wait for the foundation spin video to pop up, then click it and go watch. All right, that's all for now. Take care.